Hello everybody. Um welcome to our podcast session with um today we have a very very special guest and we call him the senior man of Pilaf Express, Mr. Ebe Kawago, the sales and marketing director of Pilaf Express. And on this episode, we are going to be focusing on the LTL services that Speedup Limited, Speedup Logistics Limited offers. So if you don't know what the LTL means, it means less than truckload. So which also means like using our trucks, our buses to transport parcels for business owners, social commerce owners and e-commerce owners from one state to another and nationwide. Thank you very much for joining us today. How are you doing, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, um, before we dive into the um, the business of the day, can you just tell us a bit about yourself? Let's you know make things soft here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my name is Emma Kamau. I'm the sales director for Spivat. I I was fortunate to be one of the pioneer part of Spivat when they came in. I joined Spivat in. Um, Thank you. And um, have since been working with them, and it's been good. Okay, you heard that right. He was one of the. That was, that's why we call him the senior man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so diving into the business of the day. So, can you tell us um, the process of signing up for the like LTL contract, the scrap of the kit, and what are the specific documentation information required that business owners or anybody generally Getting criteria to have to meet to be able to sign up with us. Okay, so um, basically the, the sign up requirement is same for every customer, okay. corporate, or um, the individuals for any of our services in Spida. But with particular reference to less than truck load, which is the LTL, um, every corporate customer that uh, approaches us or we prospect to become um, a customer of ours must first of all be credit checked to be sure that they are credit worthy must have a location that is traceable uh, must have an entity that is registered um, uh, which is the CAC mm -hmm. uh, so uh, once those are confirmed and then um, they are suitable to be our customer we would sign them up uh, by extending our sla our contract documents and um, showing them our time in transit the location that we cover and all of that once the prices uh, and the sla is agreeable to both parties that signed up and uh, but before they commence business and uh, we will have alerted our customer service unit and our operations to be sure that are ready to take on those additional businesses that are coming mm -hmm. Provider without having the means to track that. But when it comes to tracking, what are the, the, the tracking system used for LTO business? Okay, I think um, visibility is very key to our customers and to us as well. So every customer wants to know where his package is at any particular point in time. So we have a basic um, this visibility that is sold that is available to the customers. One is either through our website, the www.speedup.com, and then, or if we have an API integration with a customer, we can also have um, online, you know, immediate um, visibility on the packages on the shipments from start to finish. So that is that is what the customers use um, and is available to everyone to be able to track or to 
harvesting the fruit on, on that ship next to us. Okay, so um, we all know that Pidaf, not a lot of you know, but then internally you know that Pidaf has over 87 trucks across the country. What are the destinations this truck focused on? What are the destinations to cover specifically? Okay, so we, we have two levels of services, major services that we provide. Um, one is the full truck load. The other ones are the one we classified as less than truck load and then of course the parcels, the lightweights. Um, for the full truck loads, we, we customize them to the demand of the customers. So wherever the customers want us to take the shipments to, they are yeah, full truck loads too. As long as it's, um, it's not a war torn area, a war torn zone in the country, we are available to go there. Um, as long as also the customer is willing to pay the fees. Okay. Um, for the less than truck load, um, we also service every part of the country. Uh, basically, we have um, three line halls that leave Lagos to various locations every day. One line haul takes off from Lagos um, through Ibadan to Abuja, um, servicing the corner from Abuja. So that's the primary feeder that moves from Lagos to Abuja. We have another feeder run from Lagos to Benin. Okay. Um, that's the primary feeder to go to Benin. And we have secondary feeders that come from the various sites of Benin. Southeast that come to pick up theirs and then return to base. Okay. The third feeder run goes straight to Port that services um, the south part. So with that, we're able to have a firm grip of the country okay. uh, in less than uh, less than no time. Okay, so we are coming back to the LTL services. Um, we also provide the warehouse services in you know, Nigeria. And you know, a lot of people have asked questions on our social media platform, wondering how they can store their parcels, their packages with this speed up, like this speed up. What are the certain um, procedures to follow to be able to store your parcels at um, the speed up warehouse? Okay, so um, the, the warehouse facility that we have in Lagos is large enough to accommodate any customer that wants to take a space yeah. um, in Skidaf's uh, facility. Um, the first, the starting point is, I mean, having gone through the KYC for the customer, uh, the customer comes and takes a space, you know, which is measured in square meters. Um, once we agree on the space and the space availability and the prices, which, yeah. I mean, the, the space is charged per meter, per square meter. Um, and per month. So once all those are agreed on, the customer brings in his goods. Um, so the warehouse services that are available to the customers include the um, other processing, you can pack, uh, packaging, um, other, um, I'm, I've talked about other processing, um, inventory management, and then once all that is done, that transfers to operation mm -hmm. because we we encourage customers to also use us for distribution. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So coming back to our LTL services, so what are some value-added services that Philip also provides? You're talking about um, in terms of insurance and um, some security and safety measures. That okay. So. Um, because SpeedUp is a big organization, uh, reputable at that, we make sure that each of our trucks has a climate and goods in transit insurance mm -hmm. uh, to the tune of 40 million per truck and um, our way view. And then um, customers are encouraged to take advantage of that um, to make sure that. Um, the goods that are entrusted in our care and in our trucks are delivered to destinations you know, safely. Um, part of other you know, add-ons that, that we have is the ability to be able to track this truck to know 
wherever they are at any point in time. Mm. And be able to also get back. And the customers can also trust the truck themselves, okay. uh, which is what is not very common in the industry. Mm. So, which, which did our first come up with. Mm, that's quite interesting. You heard that, right? 40 million naira is not a small money. <laughs> So, um, are there certain restrictions and limitations to the weight or the size of the parcels um, that like our trucks can carry? Well, we have different sizes of trucks. We have um, tonnages less than 5, up to 10, 10, 10 tons, 15 tons, 20 tons, 30 tons. Um, so that, of course, suggests that we can carry um, huge volumes um, within our trucks. Okay. However, we encourage customers, I mean, for, because of the, the, the people that are involved in the lifting, to, as much as possible, keep the weight within limits. Um, so what, as far as the trucks are available, we have a 22,000 uh, kilos, Trucks can take them. That twenty thousand, the trucks can take them. And if you have also less than seventy kilos, twenty kilos, five kilos, we are we are we are available to do all of that for the customer. So, but because in, 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 with respect respect to LTL, we encourage customers to keep the weight, the average weight of each package to thirty kilos, mm -hmm. or at, at the maximum seventy kilos. Okay, so um, coming on to the last question, so um, are there special handling requirements for fragile and delicate items within the context of you know, our LTS services? Yeah, we, we expect every customer to you know, give us a prior information on the content of what is shipping because that will help uh, to know where we need special care. Um, especially when there are fragile items, we need to, you know, put fragile marks on them to enable those shipments or packages to get to where they are destined to go to in, in, good, in good shape. So um, once we have that information, of course, our operation is uh, prepared to provide that additional packaging support where the customers are not able to. So yes, where we have uh, that request from the customers, we provide that, you know, additional support in terms of packaging, in terms of um, giving a, a, no, correct instructions as to how the packaging should be loaded to ensure uh, they get there on time and in good, good shape. All right, thank you very much sir, for honoring our That's podcast right. and our interviews. We look forward to having more sessions with you. And thank you, everybody, for listening. And I hope you've been able to understand um, or gotten an insight of how our LTL service operates at Speed Up Logistics Nigeria. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much for your time.